Basically, uh, I have the students work with me and with the librarian uh, Annette Leclerc to to get topics and uh, understand how to research them and then put them together in the paper. We have a week where basically they give presentations to the class and they're also then doing a class wiki uh, where they work in teams on topics related to what they're doing. So I think it's, it's something I have a lot of fun with. It's the third time I'm teaching it and uh, it's, it's designed to have them do a real research project, do it to a really high standard, and in the process to learn from some group processes as well. Um, I did printmaking in um, Revolutionary Cuba, and um, I particularly looked at um, posters made in the 1970s and the woodcut prints made in the 1990s. Um, and the posters were made through screen printing, which is when you had a particular design and you'd make layers upon layers using an individual color each time. And printmaking was used primarily because it was uh, kind of art you could get out to the masses versus painting. Um, paintings were kept usually in a museum and they were highly influenced by the European style of art, whereas printmaking you're seeing more of a cultivation of a human style of art. Uh, mainly researching the reconstruction of the financial arm of General Motors um, from the 1920s until after World War II and looking at um, four main areas which are the changes the, that the CEOs during these time periods took, um, the changes in liquidity practices, um, the, cha the dealings that uh, the DuPont company had with General Motors and um, the organizational reconstruction of General Motors during this period. I researched um, female nurses in the Civil War and um, I focused on how they were discouraged from going into the war and like getting into the medical field in general once the, like men took over and it became more advanced. Um, but these particular women um, overcame that and they endured uh, like really poor living conditions and they were able to like put together medical fields that are like still around today like Clara Barton with the American Red Cross. It definitely it's a lot more less than the teacher telling you you know these are the facts like it's more of you getting into them you delving into the information and really discovering some uh, really remarkable things about your topic that you know you've been researching all the time and you, you know when in the midst of my project uh, every you know new person I would read about or you know discover uh, material on is just more and more things that were just uh, absurd to me that the Cuban government has you know you know had taken action against. My topic is oh, look at you, um, is about the different experiments with LSD in the 1950s to 70s um, by both the CIA and Timothy Leary, who was a early advocate of LSD. And the CIA, they um, experimented by this project called the McUltra Project. And theirs were um, tests on unknowing subjects to see if they could have mind control. So to look at the military and see if they could elicit true statements from them. But then Timothy Leary, on the other hand, his experiments were to see the benefits of LSD and see if it could be used as a therapeutic and hallucinogenic drug in the 60s and start this whole counterculture revolution.